Laura just peed in the restaurant. We don't have any backup clothes for her. Hide and go seek. This is the exact spot right here. How long ago was it? And I thought for a long time it might be here. Kendra's feeling a little bit better today. I am, and Caleb is massaging my ears. <laughs> Your ear hole. <laughs> there we go. So the kids told me all about their adventures yesterday. I'm so sad I missed it. But I'm glad I'm feeling better this morning. Thank you, Caleb. Good job, Can you bud. massage my shoulders? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll that massage her nice. shoulders. Oh, you're going to massage Janae's shoulders? I'm going to massage her back. We can get a massage train going on. <laughs> I said, can you massage me? We would let Jeremy join in this, but he's not dressed yet. That's true. <laughs> I'm completely naked. <laughs> You're not naked. <laughs> you want to join I'm in, not... Isaac? You're going to sleep? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> well, good morning. It's going to be a good day. park is so big, I still haven't seen all the pieces to it. Hey! I got up here! I got up here! Oh, well that's fun. He's pulling down my pants, it's so little. You're doing so good. You're mastering. Yeah. Oh. Lean. Oh. <laughs> there it is. Okay, Papa's it. Hide and go seek. I'll close my eyes and count. Two. They're off. Three, Hide and go seek. Four. Five. Seven. Nine. That was a great good. spot. There's Parker. That's Isaac right in here. Guys, let's split up. There she is. Found her. Yay. Wait, yes. we haven't found Laura yet. Oh, Laura won. Where's Laura? She's running around like a crazy person. Where's Laura? Oh, so good to see you. Best news ever, we made it to my favorite place. Zupas! Turn back to the good old days. When a mama said, let's do sleep back now. Well, it's always so good to get to see family while we're here. So we stopped to get some treats at So Delicious. They do like dirty sodas, which is sodas with flavoring and cream in them. And then they also do specialty cookies. So we're gonna go home and split those. Jeremy got a butter beer, which is apparently root beer with like double vanilla and cream and caramel or butterscotch. It's good. So some kids get really cranky when they're overtired. Laura becomes a crazy pants girl. She like, does. Completely insane. Maybe labeling it was a bad idea. She's like super giggly and singing just random off jokes. the wall and one thing is for sure, when she's tired, she makes noise non-stop. Like without stopping, she's singing or spitting or like she's just crazy pants. Question? 
Hey Laura, are you tired? Yes. Do you want to go home and take a nap? Yes. But first I want to eat those. Those treats? Smart girl. I can't taste it. Does it taste like regular root beer to you? I like it. Yeah? So this but is the butter beer. I'm like a I root beer like fan. Mom. Yeah? But I've always wanted the pink. So we're trying the sugar cookie, peanut butter cookie, and the snickerdoodle cookie. I really like this one. Snickerdoodle. That's probably my favorite. Well, this is my favorite kind of cookie. Well, I'm really glad that we shared the cookies. Those things are huge. Hi. I'm reading this book. It's really good. It shows how like some animals have superpowers. One can make fire. It's oh. a beetle. The beetle makes fire? Yep, from its behind. It can, make, <laughs> it can make an explosive mixture of boiling hot liquid and gas. <laughs> Not only does is the mix, mixture hot enough to burn, it also stinks. What a great book. This is the Bombardier Beetle. Well, I'm glad that we're not Bombardier Beetles. So even when we're traveling, we try to do quiet time because it keeps us all a little saner. And since Jeremy works while we're traveling, it lets him get some work done. And we just enjoy some downtime. She was napping, but she just woke up. I'm thinking about painting my toenails. Where are we going? To the pool. Where's the pool? It's right there. We can uh, see it. We're gonna swim on our pool. No, we have to stay in here. Hi. Because we're being quiet. While Daddy does his business call. No, I need to get a book so, so you can read to me. It shouldn't be that long, but even 10 or 15 minutes back here feels a little bit long. I'm really grateful that with Jeremy's job, we can travel whenever we have lots of flexibility, but whenever we are traveling, he is always behind the scenes working too, and so he gets a little bit busy. We've resorted to making faces in the mirror. Ready, everybody make a funny face. Everybody make a stinky face. Hey, you. Everybody make a happy face. Everybody make a crazy pose. <laughs> Isaac stays the same. Look what I'm doing. Look what I'm doing. Creepy. Come here. There he is. All right, everybody get Janae to laugh. <laughs> Hey. We survived. Sorry. How was your phone call? It was a little long, but we worked out that non-disclosure agreement. Daddy, daddy. Hey. I heard you talking about paragraph two, section B. Yeah. That was the key paragraph that would provide a remedy. Who's ready to go swimming? Me! I haven't committed yet. <laughs> It's colder than I thought it would be. So he's got his knees in. Yeah, and further than that starts to get questionable. <laughs> Come on. Look how funny <laughs> All right, it's Jeremy versus Isaac in a race. Jeremy has to make two lengths of the pool and Isaac just has to do one. Who's gonna win? All right. On your mark, get set, go! So Caleb just swam the whole length of the pool. Last time we did this, he said he drowned it a little bit, but he made it. So jump and swim. You're almost there, Caleb! <laughs> Whoa! That's it! You did it, buddy! You did it! You swim! It's always hard to leave the pool, even if you're going somewhere else fun, which we are. Woo! I'm 
gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Oh, he made it. Oh, she got you. Here comes Cody. Oh, I can block it. Uh oh. All right, you guys, we are with eight passengers. The last time we were together, Chad beat me, and I've been waiting for an opportunity to get back at him, so that's coming. You're going down. We're suiting up orange versus green. These are our babies. Are those they your babies? They used to be on our tummy. Oh, but now they're your baby balls? Yeah. All right, you two have fun. All right, in our first match, we won one game and eight passengers won one game. This determines it all. Who's gonna win? No, that's the high school right here, Provo. So Laura just peed in the restaurant. We don't have any backup clothes for her. Should we change maybe? Laura has been doing so amazing. This is really a fluke. I think it's just because we're in a different situation and yeah. she's playing with a friend. And so with being in a rental car, I don't have my normal emergency stash of stuff. And the diaper bag, I just didn't think of it. I'm gonna add this to the diaper bag. This is all I have, it's Janae's. Janae's stretchy pants. pants. Hey, sometimes as a big girl, you wear stretchy pants that are your sister's. I don't even have like- I think that'll work. Whole question, do you like eggs on your salad? I love it. So before we head home for the night, Jeremy and I are driving the kids past some of the places where we lived when we were going to school here. And the first place we're taking them to is where Jeremy and I actually met in the parking lot. That was the place. And then that's where we lived when we were dating and engaged and then where we got married and it's there's just lots here. of memories. Yep. I lived in that house. That window was mine upstairs. And then where this is where begin. this is where we met was at Campus Plaza, which is like the dumpiest apartment place at BYU. But that's where we met. So it's an apartment complex where there's six people in each apartment. There's only one bathroom and two bedrooms. So that meant we were sharing a room with two other people and one bathroom for everybody. But it was right next to campus and oh, I just all this nostalgia. I mean, anyway, it's just really fun to be here. And this is the place. We met right here. You Wait, stop, stop. This is the exact spot right here. How long ago was it? 2004. But we were walking right here. And we met for the first time. And I was reading a book while I was walking because I'm cool like that. And he ran up. I saw her. She was super pretty. And I had seen her around. And so I came up and started a conversation with her. Yeah. And that's where it all began. Let's reenact it like in La La Land where I just come up and we kiss the first time we meet. <laughs> and that's what happened. When we first met, I passed gas. It was magical! <laughs> Jeremy and I spent two years, I think, in the basement of that red house. Third one down. So this is where we were living when Elise was born. <laughs> So when you very first came home from the hospital, we were here. The day we found out you were a baby girl, we were here. Really? Yep, let's see it. All right, this is it, H4. So Laura just said when we got in the car, I wanna see the house where I was born at. And Isaac goes, that's the house we currently live in. And I'm like, really? Jeremy and I have moved so much, but we've been in the same house now for four years. And so it's just crazy to me that she was actually born in the house that we lived in. Apparently we hit the point where Laura needs to Laura's go to sleep. Laura's tired. Love the children. <laughs> <laughs> I can't teach you one of us. 
All right, so now we're taking Isaac to his first house. This is where we were living when we found out we were pregnant with him, when we found out he was a little boy and where he was born and came home to. You ready to see it? Uh-huh. Let's do it. And up the stairs to number six. And this house right here is the first place we lived when we were married. We lived in the basement apartment, which was actually pretty nice. It's probably one of the nicer places we lived. That's true. Yeah. That's it. That little basement spot down there. And Jeremy is going to go knock on their door. So there's a box that I lost that's super important to me. It has a bunch of my original videos. After my parents got divorced, I would watch some of our home videos over and over and over again. So I kept those in the box. And a lot of my first editing things I did are in that box. And I haven't had it for over 10 years and I've been so sad about it. And I thought for a long time it might be here. So I'm gonna come and look. So I knocked on the door and there's a cute little newlywed couple there. And I explained to them my story. They're letting me come in and check. I just had to park the van. So let's see if the box is there. All right, so here's the crawl space back here. Every time I think about that box, I think it's in here. It might not be, but I hope it is. It would be so exciting. The box wasn't there. The search continues. I'm not giving up. It's too sad to think that it was found at some point along the way and got thrown away. So I'll just continue to hope and to search. I've lived in a lot of places. It's gotta be out there somewhere. Can I get us out? She thought she was dehydrated or had a migraine and now she's just been throwing up. It's miserable being sick. The Leaning Tower of Fidget Spinners. <laughs> 